This is an IGCSE question on electromagnetism. Uh, here we've got a, a question, a typical IGCSE question. Um, and if you want to pause the video now and have a go at it first, then I'll take you through the answer. Over here we've got a magnet and it's moving into a coil or a solenoid. Now, uh, the magnet's moving this direction and the coil is connected to some sort of meter. It doesn't say what sort of meter, but it's some kind of meter that's going to measure the current or the voltage produced. So, the first question is, suggest three possible changes to the system that would increase the induced current. Now, there are four options that you've got here. You've got to choose three of them. So, first of all, you could increase the, the induced current by making the magnet move faster. faster it moves, the more current is induced. Secondly, if you think about each the magnet having a force on each one of the electrons in the wire, if you have that force on more electrons, then you're going to create a bigger current because the same force is acting on more electrons, so more electrons are moving through the circuit. So what we've got here is a certain number of coils. If you add more coils, then you're adding more electrons, and so you're increasing the current. So we could add more coils, and this, the, another way of adding more electrons is to make the coils larger in diameter. Oh, make coils larger in diameter. Finally, you could use a stronger magnet. A stronger magnet would have a bigger force on those electrons. So those are your three marks. The second section seems to be about transformers. We've got a picture of a transformer here with a primary and a secondary coil marked here. And it wants you to calculate the voltage of the supply to P. Now let's have a look at what information we've got so far. At the moment we're only talking about P, so let's write all the information that we've got for P. So primary, we've got 200 turns, uh, and let's do the secondary over here. And we've got 800 turns in the secondary. We've got an EMF induced across the secondary is 24 volts. Uh, we've got the current in the secondary as 0 0.5 amps. And the transformer operates with 100% efficiency, which means no power is lost. So we can use the ratio of the number of turns to dictate the ratio of the voltage. More turns, more voltage. So 800 over 200 means that the secondary coil has four times as much turns as the primary, so it has four times the voltage. So 24 divided by four gives you six volts. Now the current is, it works in the opposite way because the power is conserved, the total power is conserved. If we quadruple the number of turns, then we are dividing the current by four. So you can work this out in two ways. Either you can say P is constant, which is I1 V1, which also equals I2 V2. Um, and then you can, you've got I2 V2 and V1. So you can work out I1. Or alternatively, you could do it using the ratio of the coils. And you could say, well, if there's four times more turns here, then there must be four times the current here. So 0 0.5 times 4 gives you 2. So the answer is 2 amps. And you'll find that this method gives you the same answer as that as well.